Okay, let's do a video over translating expressions and solving applications. So, when you see the word applications in math, guess what it means? Word problems! Your favorite, right? This is going to be the most fun you've had all day. So when you're solving application problems or word problems, a lot of students get a little nervous, they get a little anxious. So try to relax, deep breath. The hardest part is actually not the math. A lot of students say they don't like word problems. The part they don't like is the English, the translation of the English phrase into an algebraic expression. So that's the toughest part. So here's a word problem. We're going to read it very carefully. Mikey grows many different fruits and vegetables in his garden. On Monday, he picks six tomatoes, 12 zucchini, and five watermelons. On Tuesday, he picked two more watermelons than on Monday, and three more zucchini than on Monday. How many watermelons and how many zucchini did he pick on Tuesday? So every time you're given a word problem, read through it at least a couple of times. So take just a moment and read it again yourself. Pause the video and read this again yourself very carefully. Okay, hopefully you've done that. We're always going to go to the question to figure out what are we looking for. So let's go to the question. How many watermelons did he pick on Tuesday? Now I skip part of it because we're actually looking for two things. Let's do a small piece at a time. How many watermelons did he pick on Tuesday? Okay, so look at the problem. We read through it. You've read through it. He's, there's different fruits and vegetables he grows. He talks about Monday and Tuesday. He picked two more watermelons than on Monday. And the rest of this sentence deals with zucchini. The first thing we're going to do is identify what we're looking for. How many watermelons? We don't know. So we're going to let W be the number of watermelons that he picked on Tuesday. So we're looking at... This part of the problem I'm going to highlight, on Tuesday, he picked two more watermelons than on Monday. Okay, so we're going to take that. So Tuesday's watermelons, W, is going to be two more than the watermelons on Monday. Okay, well, how many watermelons did he pick on Monday? So let's break this into actually highlight this a little bit better. On Tuesday, he picked two more watermelons than on Monday. So on Monday, he picked five watermelons. See what I'm doing? I'm slowly breaking this into pieces. We're looking at this sentence. On Tuesday, he picked two more watermelons than on Monday. So that's the part of the problem I'm interested in. And on Tuesday, we're looking for W to be the number of watermelons. He picked two more than on Monday. Well, how many did he pick on Monday? On Monday, he picked five. So we know we have five, okay, then two more than five. Two more means add two. Picked two more watermelons than on Monday. So the total on Tuesday is seven. So he picked seven watermelons on Tuesday. And we do the same thing with the next piece. How many zucchini did he pick on Tuesday? So we're going to let Z be the number of zucchini. It's a fun word to spell. Zucchini he picked on Tuesday. So we go back to the problem where we talked about Tuesday. Looking at on Tuesday, he picked, here we go, three more zucchini than on Monday. Comparing it to Monday. On Monday, he picked 12 zucchini, right? Okay, so the number of zucchini on Tuesday is going to be three more than on Monday. And on Monday, we saw that he picked 12. Three more than on Monday. Three more zucchini than on Monday. So three more than means we're going to add three. So then we have 12 from Monday and we add three, we get 15. So he picked 15 zucchini on Tuesday. So we're gonna build on this problem. So let's scroll down. The number of zucchini he picked on Tuesday was 13 less than 7 times the number of tomatoes he picked on Tuesday. Okay, so this references, if you look right here, references number of zucchini, and we're looking for number of tomatoes. So I've actually printed this again so I don't keep scrolling back and forth. So I'm going to put the answers from part A right here. 
So Mikey picked seven watermelons and 15 zucchini on Tuesday. The number of zucchini he picked on Tuesday was 13 less than seven times the number of tomatoes he picked on Tuesday. How many tomatoes did he pick on Tuesday? So again, we're gonna go piece at a time, pause the video, read this again to yourself, and when you're done, turn the video back on. Hopefully you've done that. We start the question. How many tomatoes did he pick on Tuesday? So go to Tuesday. The number of zucchini he picked on Tuesday was 13 less than seven times the number of tomatoes he picked on Tuesday. Well, it doesn't really tell me yet. And this sentence up here doesn't mention anything about tomatoes. So when you don't know, that's how you define your variable. T will be the number of tomatoes picked on Tuesday. Okay, then we go a piece at a time. So this sentence right here talks about different vegetable fruits and vegetables picked on Tuesday. So the number of zucchini he picked on Tuesday and the number of tomatoes he picked on Tuesday. We are comparing those, okay? So we're gonna go a piece at a time. The number of zucchini he picked on Tuesday. Okay, so earlier we said Z was the number of zucchini picked on Tuesday. So we're gonna say Z, that's this piece in yellow. Okay, was, was, was is usually your equal sign. Anything that's like is, was, the you know, form of be, and any of your verbs, your verbs are your equal signs. So the number of zucchini on Tuesday equals, okay, then let's look at the rest. 13 less than seven times the number of tomatoes. Okay, the number of tomatoes he picked on Tuesday. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. This stuff I've highlighted in blue, the number of tomatoes he picked on Tuesday, I'm calling that T, right? So let's break this into pieces. So we're gonna say the number of zucchini he picked on Tuesday, Z, equals, I'm just gonna write a little bit out in words, 13 less than seven times T. Does that make sense if I just do a little at a time? Okay, so I'm gonna fill in a little bit here. 13 less than seven times T. Well, let's do this piece next. Seven times T. How do you write seven times T? We multiply, we get seven T. Okay, so then we're gonna rewrite this again. Z equals 13 less than seven T. So less than that means we're gonna subtract. Okay, so here we've, we're looking at 7t, we're comparing that, 7t, and then we do 13 less than that, so minus 13. Does that make sense? So let's look at a piece at a time. This part right here was from the seven times t, less 13, or subtract 13 is that. We could also word this, if you've seen this before, as 7t, less 13, that also means subtract. We're gonna solve this for t because we see we're looking for t right here. We're gonna have a hard time though because we have two variables. We have a z still and we have a t. Do we know how to plug in another value for z? Go back to your problem. He picked 15 zucchini on Tuesday. Didn't we say z? was the number of zucchini picked on Tuesday. So we can actually plug in a 15 right there. And now we can solve for T. So we're gonna add 13 to both sides. When we do that, 15 plus 13 is 28. We get 28 equal to 7T. We want the coefficient of T to be one. So we divide both sides by seven. Well, 28 divided by seven is four. So we see t is four, or four is equal to t, the same thing. Remember, you can write these in either order. So how many tomatoes did he pick on Tuesday? He picked four tomatoes on Tuesday. 